Our Thailand's political void remains with the parliament yet to settle on its next prime minister. This after lawmakers voted to disqualify leading candidate Peter Lim Joran Rat from a second shot at this position. Or this is likely to be the end of the road for the leader of the party that took the most votes in elections in May and could also be the final blow to his premiership bid after being suspended as a member of parliament earlier by the Constitutional Court. The court had accepted a petition to seek a ruling against Mr Peter on whether he had violated election laws for allegedly holding shares in a now defunct media company. And from all this, we're joined live by our correspondents in Bangkok, Saksil Sasambat from the Parliament House and May Wong at the Democracy Monument. And we we'll start with success, uh, success Sasambat. Expectations of a second parliamentary vote on the prime ministerial job. Now that one falling through. What happened in the House? <laughs> Now the day for move forward party leader Peter Lim Jodhanad has gone from bad to worse. Uh, not, it started with um, the constitutional court decision to accept the case seeking a ruling whether or not he has violated election campaign laws for allegedly illegally holding shares in the media company, uh, in a defunct media company, I might add. And, that, uh, he, and the court also um, ordered him to, uh, to stand down. He basically, he was suspended as an MP, and uh, that's why he left the chamber early before there was an end to today's session. Even though he was still able to, be, uh, to stand as a prime minister candidate, because according to the Constitution, you then have to be a member of parliament in in order to become a prime minister, but then came the double whammy. Uh, during the whole day, lawmakers of both the elected MPs and the military appointed senators were discussing whether or not Peter can actually be resubmitted as a prime minister candidate or not, whether this is a repeat motion which is not allowed under parliamentary rules. It was an all-day debate circling around whether or not this was a motion or not, and this was put to a vote. And given how last week's prime minister vote went against Peter, given the overwhelming majority of the other side of the opposition, which has less MPs, but then also more senators on the other side, overwhelming the coalition. Now, that was a very clear signal and there was a very clear opportunity for them to bar Peter from the prime minister's vote. So that is how it happened. Basically, this is the end of the road for Peter for now. Oh, well, when we say end of the road, uh, Mr. Peter has faced many obstacles, legal as well as a constitutional and actual getting votes. Uh, does this mean it's really the end of the road for him now? What lies ahead for him? In simple, plain words, it's game over for Peter to become the prime minister this time around. He would have to wait for another election cycle in order to compete again. So this is what we are facing. Two months after the election that saw a surprise victory of the reformist progressive move for party, um, the prime minister candidate of that party, Peter Lim Jodhanad, he cannot stand as prime minister uh, anymore. So what does this mean? We will see consultations of the eight-party coalition um, uh, led by the Move Forward Party. They have to go back to the drawing board. And they have said before that they're going to let the second biggest party, the Purtai Party, to have a shot and also um, to nominate their own prime minister. Now, we haven't heard a next date yet. But going back to today's vote, this sets a very dangerous legal precedent because this means that every prime minister candidate has only one shot to become a prime minister. So in order to become prime minister, you better have all your votes secured. That means from not only your own parties, but also the rival parties from the other side and the appointed senators as well. And if you don't have that secured, then it means that you will not become prime minister or you will lose your chance to become prime minister. And this can go on and on and on and on until there's no prime minister candidate left from your party and maybe the other side uh, that has actually lost the election will become a prime minister. So what I'm basically saying here is that we are seeing the limits of the constitution being tested as well as the patience of the ties that have voted in democratic elections um, two months ago being tested as well, maybe ending up with a government that they didn't vote for. Well, thanks for the success, Sasan, but speaking to us live there from Bangkok. Well, let's head to CNA's Mei Wong. She joins us live from the Democracy Monument in Bangkok. May, we can hear a rowdy crowd behind you that's gathered. What's the mood like on the ground? It's 
been at least two years since the Thai citizens came out to democracy monument over here to voice their dissatisfaction with the Prayut government. But this time around, because of what is happening today, they have come out once again, and this is the rallying point for the move forward as well as PETA supporters, because they say that the election results have been robbed of them. The people have voted, and yet the establishment does not seem to recognize or respect that. I just want to show you the kind of crowd gathered here at the moment. Obviously, it didn't used to be like what we saw more than two years, three years ago. But we can expect this crowd to grow slowly but surely because they say that this time they will not let up. They say the fight has begun for the people. 14 million voters chose Move Forward Party in this particular election. This particular election meant a lot to them. They say that they wanted to make sure that the establishment hears them. And yet, the results today, Peter will not be Thailand's prime minister. Peter will not be a prime minister of their choice. And they say that the establishment is using various tools to curb that. Number one is the fact that the senators put in by the military did not vote for Peter. And yet some of the opposition MPs as well did not vote for him. That's one aspect. The other tool that's been used right now is the constitutional court that has suspended Peter as a member of parliament. And potentially he could also be disqualified if the Constitutional Court rules against him to say that he has flouted election laws. So all of these now culminating to this anger, this growing frustration that the people are now experiencing. The winner is coming, the spring is arrived here and you cannot prevent the future anymore and you try to prevent everything, you hold your power until you last. You cannot do that. Your last breath is going to happen and then we will make this country to democracy again as it should be at the first place and you are stopped that. I hope that you will step back from that. Today, like I know that a lot of people cannot tolerate the angry that, that the state let the old power like make us angry again. Like They prevent us every way from like take the power and make this country democracy like they are really like really scary to be democracy country so they like against it every every way from the people so the people I understand them that they have a lot of angry today and they like this point like twice in this two weeks like last week we vote for the uh, prime minister and then we fail because the senator are not allowed we had to be next prime minister and then today in the morning we have the news that uh, the constitution court uh, like make the Pihar like suspended and like we cannot like tolerate that angry anymore. The biggest worry that the citizens have right now is that the eight party coalition which includes Move Forward Party may actually be split up and the unfortunate thing is the people are very worried that eventually the pro-military regime may just come back into power and that's when the people vow that they will come back onto the streets to make the establishment hear them. May, thank you for that. May Wong there speaking to us live from Bangkok.